today I am going to be cleaning and I'm decorating and I'm even going to do some decorating for Valentine's. As you can see, my living room is messy. I'm trying to get my son to pick up all his toys. This is what is going on in my living room right now. As you can see, I have my Christmas decor up and it's time to take it all down. I'm really gonna miss it all. So we are getting ready to clean up this messy living room. No, no messy living room. I'm gonna wash my pillow covers. I'm gonna wash the chair covers and I'm gonna put away all the um, Christmas pillow covers that I just finished. No, no, well, no, 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 I haven't washed them yet, but I'm about to wash them. And once I wash them, I put them away. If you can see, they are over there. So this is what's going on right now. My Christmas tree, I will not be taking that down because I don't feel like it. So what I'm gonna do is, you'll see if you just keep on watching. But it's time to get this room in order because it's a mess. And then we are gonna come around this corner. The light is kind of bad around here. Yeah, we're gonna clean up and then you'll get the camera. So this is a few of my Valentine's Day decor. Still have my Christmas decor. And I got my Christmas buckets to put everything in on my storage. But we are getting ready to get rid of all this chaos and get some order up in this house. found this multi-surface cleaner from Dollar Tree. I spent a dollar for it. Can you believe that size for just a dollar? And it gets the job done as any other multi-surface cleaner. I've never decorated for Valentine's Day before and I am so excited to be doing it for the first time. I found a lot of amazing things but I will definitely say finding Valentine's Day items is not the easiest because I guess it's not a occasion that a lot of people decorate for. Have you guys decorated yet? Do you even plan to decorate? This was all on my couch, guys. Look at that mess. We still got... My son even got Popeyes under here. <laughs> like, look at this. Life with kids, I'm telling you. And my little helper over here helping. <laughs> I don't know what he doing, guys. I'm trying to figure it out. Welcome guys, if you are new to my channel, it means so much that you took time to even click on my video to show it some love. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave me a comment, don't forget to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe as that would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for your support. It means so much and welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. I mean, it means so much that you constantly keep supporting my channel. That means so much to me. So I hope you guys continue to enjoy this video. I am going to try my best not to do a lot of talking in this video and just let you guys listen to mostly music because yes, this video is a long one, one of my longest video. I tried my very best to get it down as much as possible, but I did cleaning, I took down decoration, and then I put up decoration. So it was so much work getting done in this video. So I really do hope you guys just continue to watch, enjoy this video, and I'll try my best not to say a lot. So let's get back into the music. <laughs>
how you clean your house every day and every day it looked like you haven't cleaned it all week and I'm not going to say I clean my house every day because y'all I would be lying to you I do not clean my house every day I'm a mom I'm a busy mom and even though I stay at home I have a lot to do so I do not feel the mood to clean every day especially knowing my kids and as you can see how messy the play is I'm not gonna do it I don't do it so I try to clean at least two or three times a week but y'all if I let it go a whole week and don't clean my house will actually look worse than this how do you guys cope with being parents especially if you have to work how do you cope trying to maintain your home work family all of that stuff how do you do it so growing up I never had a lot and my mom did the best that she can so I make it a priority to not only spoil my boys with love and affection but I also spoil them with toys and stuff like that so they have so much stuff everywhere and I definitely need to one day that is my next project to go through all of their stuff see whatever is broken or see whatever needs to be given away because they have so much toys that sometimes they don't even know what to play with when and then they just make a mess everywhere so after he finished eating his lunch he decided to throw the plate in the trash and as i'm giving it to him to put in the sink he's walking away and telling me no he knows how to do it but i'm telling you this little boy and his personality sometimes just absolutely cracked me up because he is such a mini me so my office area is all cleaned up and i know it won't even last long because this is where my son does his virtual learning and he always bring a bunch of toys Sometimes it's so good to shop your home because as I was going through my basket with my table runners, I saw this one and I figured, wow, it would go perfect on my center table because it's white, it's pink. That's exactly the theme that I'm going with in my living room. So I was like, I didn't have to buy any table runner. And I even found this vase in my garage. It would just sit in there on my pool table in my garage. And I was like, okay, this can definitely go in the living room. So sometimes it's so good to just look around your house and see what you have. See what can be used, recycled without having to go to the store and have to spend. Especially when you're decorating for a couple of days or two or three weeks. You don't want to be going to spend a lot of money for stuff that are not even going to stay out for a long time, especially because I'm sure next year, Valentine's Day, I'm probably going to get new stuff and most of the old stuff I probably won't even use. So it's really good to shop your home. So I was going to buy some curtains from Amazon and then I went in my linen closet and saw these pink ones. And I was so happy because I was like five minutes away from pushing that purchase button on Amazon when I said, you know what, let me look in my closet first to see if I find any pink um, curtains and bam, there I found two. And I was like, thank you. I did not spend my money unnecessarily. I do have a question for you guys that do decorate so when you buy candles and you buy certain candles for a certain season if you don't use the candle if it doesn't finish do you guys still keep it out or do you put it away for next season so for me I usually leave it out and use it but for some reason when I was putting away all my Christmas decor I did put away my candles because I barely use them. 
because when I purchased them, they smelled so good. But when I light them up, they didn't have that smell. So I rarely remember to light them up. So I end up rarely using them. So I put them away. <laughs> so next year, Christmas, I'll take them back out. I went in the kitchen guys and I did not even see my son climbing up on that fireplace. He knocked over my bucket with my Christmas decor and broke a few items. I'm like these kids will not let me be great. They are always breaking all my stuff. that I got from um, Amazon and Dollar General that I did not show you guys. I think I got some stuff from Dollar Tree as well. So I got these, let's see. They are so cute. So I got these small little flower picks. And these I'm gonna put on my Christmas tree because I'm not taking them down. Ooh, they have glitter everywhere. Um, I did not think about decorating I for Valentine's. What? Uh -huh. I didn't think about decorating for Valentine's. So I didn't buy any ornaments. So I'm just gonna use what I have. So these I got from Dollar Tree. I got items from Amazon, Dollar General, and Dollar Tree. I got these heart picks from um, Dollar Tree as well. I got, what is this? This is a garland that I got, it's a heart garland that I got from Dollar Tree as well. I was looking for a pink mat to go in front of my door on the inside, but I couldn't find anything. And what I found on Amazon would not be ready until the 20th. And I needed it for today to decorate today. So I got this. It doesn't go with my color scheme, but it's pretty. And it's going to stay at the door anyway. So it says hello. And then on this side, it says goodbye. And I spent so I'm gonna put that in front the front door and I got these bunch of lights the LED small lights from Dollar General no Dollar Tree and I got like 12 of them so I'm gonna put them on my mantle and then I found this candle it smells so good and it's five dollars so so good Hopefully when I light it, it still smells good because every time I buy a candle and it smells so good, when I light it, it doesn't have a smell. So I got this Love You More from Dollar General and I spent $2.50. Hopefully you guys are seeing me well. And then I got Home is Wherever You Are and I spent $2.50 as well. What? Okay, he wants the color. How you open this? All right, there you go. 
this is life guys this is my real life i try to record and my kids are always in the way trying to get my attention so i know you guys see me leaning over but i'm trying to reach everything on the floor and i found this home is wherever you are lovely lovely sign i love it so cute and i paid 250 but what's funny to me is like did they forget to do this section because they have here they have here and i'm assuming they just actually left it white seeing that right here is red but it looks awkward to me <laughs> it's cute but awkward and then let's see i got this little happy valentine's day mailbox so cute so so cute and I got this from a Dollar Tree. And it has a little heart right here. That's so cute. Um, I bought some more red picks. I was thinking I shouldn't have gotten any pink picks. I should have just got a bunch of red ones. And I got my hat. I forgot my hat. <laughs> I got my little hat for Valentine's Day. But I, I thought I should have just got a lot of red ones. Seeing that my flower little thingies that i'm gonna put on the tree is a lot of pink so i should have just got a lot of red picks but the last thing i got is this and it is so cute if i can get the bag open what are you eating what are you eating what's in your mouth open You're eating something you're not supposed to. And I got my pillow covers. But you're only going to see this one. You have to watch the video to see the rest of them. But they were so cute. I just had to get them. They're all pink. But I'm going to incorporate red pillow covers as well. So you definitely have to continue watching to see that. So make sure you stay tuned. Because I use blue for my Christmas decor in my living room, I had a bunch of red table runners that I wanted to put over here but for some reason when I put everything in my garage everything just gets lost in my garage and I could not find them. I searched a whole garage I'm looking for these red table runners and they were nowhere to be found. So as I'm cleaning I dropped this vase and I broke it. It served this time but now I guess it was time to go.
Um, she's read every single one. And for some reason, she won't get rid of these books. She'll read them several times. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but I guess it's similar to when you have a favorite show that you watch and you've watched it several times. Like for me, I have Criminal Minds. I've watched Criminal Minds all 15 seasons several times throughout the years and it never gets old for me so I guess it's the same way for her when it comes to books what about you guys what is it that you guys have read several times or what movie have you watched so many times you could probably reenact the movie word for word action for action <music> beautiful together I just absolutely love how well this color scheme worked together and if you guys don't know red is my favorite color I love red and then add it with some black oh my gosh that is my favorite color I was having a hard time taking these down because I forgot I nailed them up there <laughs> next year I'll definitely be thinking of a better way so my son wanted to put up the Valentine's wreath so you know how I love to have my boys help me when I clean so I let him handle that
was putting the red little flowers on the tree, I was just sticking them in, not realizing if I looked in that bag, the bag had clips that I had to clip onto the flowers to clip it onto the tree. I was having a moment, guys. Having a moment. Like I said, I couldn't find a lot of Valentine's Day decor, so the lady that I could find, I just worked with and everything came out real pretty. I'm thinking I'm going to move one of these pillows and put in my entryway because I don't have any more pillows to put there. And then you have my tree. So I forgot that these lights need batteries. So there are a few under that has no battery. It's not lit up. But this is my tree. Real pretty. And I got some picks to just put up here. And these I bought from Amazon. They are so cute. They come in two different sizes. So you have those big ones. Um, actually, three sizes. You have the medium size. And then you have the really small ones. And then you have my centerpiece right here. Real simple. I didn't realize that this table cover was uh, white and pink. So that worked out well. These are my pillows. It says, Will you be my Valentine's? Happy Valentine's Day and I love you. And I added some red pillows and some pink ones. And then <laughs> I'll show you over here the baby fell asleep so I have this one it says happy Valentine's Day so I think I may move this middle one and put it over here because it has more red in it than this I'm thinking I'm gonna put this one in the middle over here and then move this and put it in my entryway because that one has more red in it so I want to put it here so it can have the red and pink and then because I have nothing to put on my entryway no clothes I'll put that but this is my living room so now I have to go clean out the entryway I have to decorate it actually well clean and decorate because let me see if I can show you guys what it's looking like right now. So this is what I'm working with. <laughs> totally messy. So I just got to clean that up. And my battery is dying. So I may have to charge it up a little and then start the cleaning process. And I turn around and look who's up. <laughs> yes, that fast. He was asleep and now he's up. Hey guys, good morning. So... Don't mind the noise in the background. So, I didn't get to finish clean last night. 
I didn't get to finish decorate, so I'm gonna do that right now. The kitchen is a mess. You guys won't see the kitchen in this video, but let's just say it is a mess. So I need to get my kitchen clean. I need to finish the entryway, so I'm gonna do that. Right now, I'm making dinner. You see what time it is? <laughs> It's 9.32 and I'm already making dinner. Um, I have a busy day today so I wanted to start dinner early. So I still need to go to the entryway. Let me show you how that is looking right now. Hi. Uh, I still have the boys laundry to put up. I haven't done that yet. So, this is the entryway right now messy need to get that done so my kitchen is a bit a bit messy needs to get done i have stuff over here stuff on the floor dishes in the sink and i'm about to try to make breakfast for the boys and myself and i'm making dinner so i'm gonna try to see if i can get all of this done so i can go you do it. I can't do this. I can't do it either. He be wanting me to draw a school bus for him. I don't know why he think I'm an artist that I can draw a school bus. So I'm about to finish the kitchen so that I can finish the entryway and show you guys that. Kitchen, like I said, you guys won't see in this video, but the entryway you will. I'm not decorating my kitchen. I'm not decorating anywhere else except for the living room and the entryway. The living room, you already see how cute that looks. So now I'm going to go to the entryway and get that done. Has definitely come in handy with this little boy because he loves to help so he wanted to hold this blue bin that I used to sweep the dirt into and he got mad when I took it away from him so you guys will see him get pissed and ran off but I'm telling you he loves to help me clean it is just so adorable it's the sweetest thing I've ever seen it's just so funny when he takes up the broom and he just goes and starts sweeping up the house. If you guys are not on my Instagram page, you guys definitely need to go check out the cleaning mommy because you will definitely see me post him a lot. So my little helper wants to help and he's fussy and grumpy whenever I try to take the broom from him. So I'm letting him do his thing. But guys, look how dirty my floor is like I know I had to clean today because it is so dirty that's the entryway towards the kitchen 
Yes, mommy gotta wipe the floor. Look at that. That is just so gross. Life of having kids, <laughs> you are cleaning every single day. Yeah, guys, let me show you the top part of my table. This table, I got it from, was it Walmart or Amazon? I don't remember. I think it was either Walmart or Amazon. I will have to check. And I spent like 60 something dollars, or was it 90 something dollars? Somewhere between six to a hundred, no more than a hundred dollars. But I love this table for my entryway. Okay, mommy. I don't know what I'm putting down there, but I'm going to Walmart right now to see to see what I can get. But this is my table, the top decor. I got this from Walmart and it says follow your heart and if you remember I did show it in a little small little haul and I spent four dollars and 48 cents already had that shot my home <laughs> and I bought these candles it came four in a pack and I think I spent like two dollars or four dollars I don't remember and then I've had this for a while and I'm assuming I got it from dollar general because that's how their price tag looks and it's three dollars and then i got this heart from walmart as well 3.98 it's a light up candle uh it's a light up decor but my problem with it the light isn't bright enough like let me see if it's on see you can barely see you have to bring like extra clothes to see the light so that's just the only thing I don't like about it and then up here I have a sign that says happy Valentine's Day I had to cut this sign up a couple times because it was so long and this part was a part of this but I had to cut it because it was just not working out for me it was so complicated but that's it and then this was up for Christmas and I decided to put it back. No, I'll do it myself. He wants to wipe the floor. He wants to take it out the bucket to wipe it. I'll probably let him do it, but <laughs> I want to do it myself. Are you that type where when you're cleaning, you want to do it yourself because you love cleaning so much that you don't want any help? But then when you don't get the help, you complain that you are not getting help? That is so me. <laughs> love it it's so cute and I think I got it for like eight dollars so I have two of these and for the <coughs> excuse me for the love of God I cannot find the other one in the garage so I don't know where it is so I'm about to go to Walmart and see if I can find anything to put under this space because it is too blah for me and I don't do blah <laughs> so I'm about to go to Walmart and see if I can find anything but this is what it looks like right now. And if I find anything and I put it under there, I will definitely add it to this video. So I'll see you guys when I get back. I'm back from Walmart and I wanted to show you guys a few things that I got to put under my entryway table. So I got this throw blanket. 
from Walmart. I paid $2.75, really good price. And then I bought this pillow. As soon as I walked into the store, I saw it and knew I had to get it. And I paid $9.98 and it says, Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.